All right, we are going to go over installing a firmware update on a Trimble Catalyst DA2 receiver. So right now I'm running a TDC 600, so this is an Android device. I'm just going to slide my menu up here. I'm going to go find Trimble Mobile Manager. I'm going to run that. Um, and what we're going to do here is I'm going to actually click on the DA2 to connect it. And then I'm going to click on the menu in the top corner, or you could just swipe to the right. And we're going to click on position source. If your DA2 wasn't connected previously, you would choose GNSS receiver type. You'd set it to Bluetooth, and you would connect to the DA2. Now, currently, in this date is uh, 3-15-2022. I currently have firmware version 1.05 installed. And it says at the bottom, hey, a software update is available for the connected position source. So I'm going to click on learn more. It gives us a little window. It says, okay, here's the, the new update version 1.19. Um, stability and performance improvements and some production release. Okay, and it says here it takes about 10 minutes. So I'm just going to click download and install now. And what that will do is it will go out to the Trimble website. It will download the firmware update and then go ahead and install it. Uh, what I really like about this is in the past, to do firmware updates, I had to connect, say like a R2, I would have to connect the device to a computer either through USB or through a web UI and uh, either download and install the firmware that way or use Trimble Installation Manager. Um, you know, on some of the older devices, you'd have to copy the firmware file to the device and run it. And some of the other ones, you would just download a firmware file connected via USB and, and do it that way. With this option, now we we just uh, it's done over the over the air. It just needs an internet connection, and uh, so it's download complete. And now it's basically going to upload and install this necessary file. All right, so basically it sent the update to the receiver, it took about four minutes. And then from there, uh, now it's going ahead and installing the update on the device. It's saying, hey, just keep this thing powered on while this is happening. All right, so it went through, just kind of gave you a rundown minute by minute of what it was doing when it was almost done. And when it's finally finished, you get a green checkbox that says update finished successfully, and you click on done. What I recommend from here is that you take the DA2 outside, you turn it on, uh, you let it run, and just, just let it run about 12 and a half to 15 minutes to attain a new slash updated almanac. That's just a a general location where all the satellites are going to be. Uh, and then from there, you can take this and use it as normal. Thank you.